Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you're having a blessed day. I have been under the weather. Um, you know, God is so good. I haven't really been on here since the conference. Um, maybe just a little here and a little there. And that's because something happened. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God. This is real. It is always real. God said revival happened at the conference. Come on, somebody. If you would have been there and all those that were there, and I'm not just saying it. And hold on. Let me go ahead and, and do a disclaimer. I am not trying to say I'm all that the devil is a lie. I am a servant of the living God, but something happened and I can't shake it. Something happened and I'm not the same. Something happened. Hallelujah to his name. Revival happened. And, and it's so crazy because. I usually, um, I don't move unless God moves, period. You know, if I got to listen, wait, it doesn't matter, whatever the case may be. And so long story short, um, God said, I want you to change the classes. And, I, and you know, I've always taught prophetic classes if, in case you don't know that. And so God said, I want you to change the classes because I want you to focus on revival fire. Oh, come on, somebody. He says, I'm not just coming for the prophetic. I'm coming for everybody in this hour. He said, from the lay person to the usher to the greeter, y'all ain't ready for me. Hallelujah. He said, I'm going to pour my spirit out on all flesh in this last hour. And he said, it's revival fire. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I am getting on here talking about the revival fire class. For all of those in the fivefold ministry, that means we're going to teach on how to lay hands. Let me, let me walk through it. Let me walk through it. This class will focus on all of the gifts, including the prophetic, evangelism, laying of hands, being filled with the Holy Ghost. God said, I need people to take it back to basics. You see, everybody ain't got too deep. Come on, somebody. He said, you got to do your first work all over again. It is time to turn this world upside down, said the Lord. Oh, come on, somebody. Uh, he, he, got me, he got me on it, y'all. Look at it. He said, let's turn this world upside down, filling it with the gospel of of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, starting in your home, starting in your hometown. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And so it, it, he also made me say this. Well, y'all already know this. This is Mark 16, 15. It says, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. That is what we're supposed to be doing. Not trying to get platforms, not trying to, you know, trying to be famous. Oh, I'm going to say how I say it. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And, and so these are the books that I'm going to be using as well. Um, this is called Revive Fires and Awakening, um, A Call to Holiness, Prayer, Intercession for the Nations. This is stuff we got to be doing, you guys. And I'm not just trying to um, sell a class. Yeah, I said how I said it. I'm telling you, God is doing something in this hour. And I, I'm, I'm telling them, use me, use me. It don't matter. I haven't been the same. I'm telling you, I knew God. You remember I told y'all that? And I wasn't just trying to sell. We sold out. And then after we sold out, I, I released more tickets that were free. And I'm telling you, it was sold out. Everybody came. Everybody was blessed. And I'm not just saying that. People came from Hawaii. And, and trust me, you, you, you know people talk, right? So if I was lying, you know, they'll say it. I mean, people came from Hawaii. People came from Minnesota, Los Angeles, um, Mississippi, um, all over. I'm not going to lie to you. I was shocked, you know, because I'm very humble. I'm very humble. And I, I pray I always stay that way because we're not that great. And I, God told me he was going to do something, but I didn't know he was going to do that. I'm not going to even lie to y'all. And, and he said that, it, let me go back to this one. He says, it, it's vessels, fire, and glory. He said, I'm, I'm going to release my fire and, 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 and I'll put my glory over it. Oh, come on, somebody. Because too many be trying to get his glory, he said. And so these are the books. If you ever had these books, Pigs in the Parlor, this is a deliverance God. And so I'm still going to do the same things that I always do, but I just want to be, get on here and tell you, you can register for the class at www.apostledeannadixon.com. That's www.apostledeannadixon.com. This class would not be like any class I've ever taught. I can feel it. And I'm not just trying to sell some. I don't have time to play games and lot. And uh, I, he even made me change the name. I don't know if y'all know me, but that's how I became who I am as far as in 2014 when he told me to start the prophetic class. That's how people start to know me. He says, it's more than a prophetic in this hour. He said, I need the whole fivefold ministry to come together. Pastors, get out yourselves. The prophetic supposed to be there. The evangelist, the minister, the teacher, the preacher. We cannot do this by ourselves, said the Lord. He said, we must come together as the fivefold ministry. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I am just up on here telling you we had a grand time. Over 50 people. You guys... 
50 people were baptized and with the fire of God praying. I mean, I had, I had never had a conference that big. I'm not even going front. Never, never, never. I mean, they've been pretty full. Don't get the don't get it twisted, but not like this. This was on a whole new level. And can I tell you something? Mostly young people. So I was definitely shocked because most of my audience is older. So something is happening, and it's not Deanna. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. That's the fire of God, the power of God. And so um I'm just so excited, you guys. I am so excited. I put pictures on the website, and I'm actually going to do another video when I finish this because I want people on YouTube to see the pictures. Again, this is not to try to put myself like I'm so grand. No, the power of God is grand, and he's doing something, and it's not just with me. All you got to do in this hour, he said, be willing, be obedient. He said, just let me use you. Oh, you're going to go through some stuff. If you knew what I went through even the day of, I'm not going to tell that on, on live. I, I, I can't even, I can't even disclose that publicly. I cried. I don't mind telling at three o'clock, five o'clock, five 30 was the conference, right? I'm crying at three o'clock or something happened. I'm not going to go there, but it hurt me to the core of my spirit. And I couldn't believe it. I said, are, 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 really? Seriously? At three o'clock, two hours before the conference, y'all put this. And I tell you, I had to get it together. It was hard. You have no idea. Y'all don't know. The people there know. Y'all don't know. I had to push through it. And I had to call a couple people. I said, just, just come pray with me in my hotel room. Just come pray with me. Now I know why Satan was tripping. Now I know why he did what he did. Because he God knew what he was going to do. Oh, come on, somebody. Oh, I'm transparent on purpose. All of y'all know what I went through. Even after, and I'm going to put this out here. Uh, I wasn't going to, but this I'm, I'm allowed to release. After I had a stalker, that this young man from Miami, and uh, I saw him that, that from the gate. But, you know, I was trying to be, hey, everybody coming to get saved, filled with the Holy Ghost. You know what I'm saying? He kept coming, you guys. Um, he kept. We had, I, I had security there, like our own security. One of the speakers had brought her own security, so therefore it became our security. And I'm just going to tell you, this young man kept coming at me, and it was scary. I'm not going to lie to you. And, and he kept on coming, and, and I kept telling him, <laughs> you stop now, stop, because these people around me, they, 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 they come on now. Yeah, they Holy Ghost feel, but they, they was ready to do something. And, and he had no idea how close he came to his life being snuffed out. I'm not, I'm, I'm not lying. So then after that, he kept coming, you guys. So um, he tried to follow me to my hotel room. So they, they kind of dispersed that. So then we just stopped on the floor. We didn't go. And he kept, he, he even followed me to the, to the floor. So then when we got in the room, the Holy Ghost said, he's going to come knock on your room because he's watching you. I said, Lord. So I told everybody that was in the room with me. I said, this young man is going to come knock on the door. Lo and behold, that man knocked, that boy knocked on the door 11 something at night. And therefore my security that was in the room, they went out and Y'all, something almost happened bad. And I had to tell him, no, no, no. The enemy is trying to get us to get out of character. The last thing I need is y'all making headlines because y'all didn't hurt this boy. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't, I'm talking about that had never happened. I said, what is going on? Satan was on a rampage. Satan was on a rampage. And I mean, it was crazy. And so security had to come and they actually escorted him off the property. Um, I don't know if he got arrested after that, but this was crazy. This was crazy. However, God, God, God won. Point blank in the story. Out of everything that happened, God won. That's all I'm gonna say about that. So, um, I pray that you understand the the signs of the times, um, what we, where we at. Because this stuff is real. This stuff is real. And it's getting realer. God is releasing a power in this hour, but but you have to be ready for it. Different level, different devil. This stuff is real. Hallelujah. So I pray that you all be blessed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Satan was big mad, Tamika. And it was such a pleasure meeting you. I met some of the students for the first time. They were so nice, so sweet. I mean, it's amazing how you, you we do what we do. And, and I don't do it for <laughs> whatever. You know what I'm saying? I just do it because I love the Lord. And to meet you all, it was such an honor. I was blessed to hug you all. And that was another thing that people were saying. I was touchable. I hugged everybody. I, I know I'm not crazy. I know something could happen, but I know that God is with me. So I don't mind hugging people. I don't mind, you know, but I will tell you this. Apostle Deanna Dixon is Apostle Deanna Dixon. You know, hey, I'm, a, I'm only human, meaning that um, hmm, it was some things going on. And, and believe it or not, God has showed me somebody was going to try to hurt me. 
And um, it, it almost happened that, that whatever he had in his bag, he kept trying to get to me. Like I said, he even came in the by the room trying to get in. He just kept trying to get in. And I just started pleading the blood of Jesus because I know God is not ready for me to go anywhere. So with that being said, we just got to keep on doing what we do. Praise God. Hallelujah. So everyone just continue to do what God have called you to do. Know that it will not be easy. You will have your tests. You will have your trials. You would have a tribulations. People going to trip with you. Guess what? Love them. Pray for them and forgive them. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Miss Tamika Gomez. It was a pleasure meeting you and your husband. God bless you. Everybody. It, it was such an honor. I, I didn't know you. I mean, you guys are just awesome. Hallelujah. Especially the young lady that came from Hawaii. She was in the class as well. Um, it, I mean, it was a lot of people. I don't care if it came from Atlanta. And believe it or not, it was a lot of YouTubers. Yeah, it was a lot of YouTubers. I was like, okay, whoa. God was, he was in the place. He was in the building. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. I'm going to get back on here because I want to show people on YouTube the pictures. I didn't get a chance to do that. So keep praying for everybody. You guys, look, this is not the time to bash each other, get angry, rage, and act a fool. This is time to pray and gird each other like never before in Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. All right. So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll our soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.